Hello everyone and welcome to Scholarships Corner. In this video, I'm going to tell you about Erasmus Scholarship, how to apply for Erasmus, what is the eligibility criteria, and pretty much everything about this scholarship which you need to know. So let's get started. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, then do subscribe to get daily updates about scholarships, fellowships, internships, and much more. Also, don't forget to join us on our Telegram channel as well. You can find the link in the description or in the community tab of channel. Erasmus Plus is one of the world's prestigious and competitive scholarship programs. The Erasmus Scholarship is a fully funded scholarship in Europe. In this video, you will learn about Erasmus Overview, how to apply for Erasmus Scholarship 2021, the general eligibility criteria for this scholarship, required documents for Erasmus, key points for increasing your chances of selection, some frequently asked questions, motivation letter with sample, letter of recommendation with sample, and some interview tips. So first, let's have some overview of the scholarship. Erasmus Mundus Joint Master Degree is a prestigious, integrated, international study program, jointly delivered by the International Group of Higher Education Institutions. The study must take place in at least two of the program countries, which are the European countries, Part of the studies can also take place in partner countries. This scholarship program is a study program of 60, 90, and 120 ECTs, or roughly two years. This means that it lasts from a minimum of 12 months to a maximum of 24 months. Students at the master's level worldwide can apply for this scholarship program. You must have obtained a first higher education degree or demonstrate a recognized equivalent level of learning according to the national legislation and practices in the degree awarding countries. If you have already received an Erasmus Mundus master course, you are not eligible for an additional scholarship. You cannot benefit from EU-funded scholarship scheme while you are receiving the scholarship. If we talk about the academic outcome of the scholarship, the successful completion of the study program will lead to the award of either a joint degree or multiple degrees. If we talk about the financial support, to receive Erasmus financial support, you must first be admitted into the course by the organization and then be selected for the scholarship. In Erasmus Mundus joint master degree, not all students get Erasmus Plus scholarship. Such students who are not awarded a grant can study if they can bear the expense of the program. Those who are selected to one or more degree programs can get admission in any one of the scholarship. The scholarship covers your application cost. It represents a contribution to your travel and installation cost and include a monthly substance allowance for the entire duration of the study program. The total amount of scholarship varies according to the duration of your course and your nationality. The exact amount may vary from the upcoming batches, so I'm not mentioning any such detail here. However, the stipend is sufficient enough to study in any country of Europe and live a normal life. The stipend and scholarship are received once you reach your first university for the semester in the home country. Before leaving your home country, you have to arrange your air ticket and some related visa expenses. However, you can easily cover those costs with a substantial stipend that you will receive when you will reach there. Host University is a name given to the university amongst the group of universities for any particular MS program, where you generally go to another program country and study at that university. Some programs have non-European partner universities as well, where you can study for some months in the third or fourth semester, depending upon the conditions and approval of your program heads. Now we'll talk about how to apply for Erasmus Scholarship 2021. So there are multiple steps you need to follow and we'll go through them one by one. So let's start from step one. Students should consult the online Erasmus Mundus Joint Master Degree Catalog and contact the consortium offering the master course for more information on courses and application procedures. Most master degree programs will open applications around late October and require applications to be submitted at maximum between December and January or sometimes maybe until February. Some new MS programs are added to the list of offered MS programs each year when the catalog gets updated and some may be removed as well. So while checking the link above, Keep in mind it is for applicants who are now already selected for 2020-2022. Those who are reading for coming calls, starting degrees, you should bookmark or save the above link and check back later in October 2020. 
Students can apply to a maximum of three different programs. Students should contact directly the relevant master degree coordinators for more information on courses and application procedures. Let's talk about one of the most important points, which is the general eligibility criteria. 16 years of education. You need to have a 16 years of education. Number two, you should be proficient in English. To be on the safer side, take IELTS TOEFL latest by October November. Most programs require 6.5 and some need 7 scores in IELTS or equivalent in TOEFL. Some programs also require that no individual score within IELTS is below 6. Next thing is you need a passport as an identity document to apply. So apply for it and keep it ready around September October. Most programs applications open in October and end variably around January, February or even March. Opening of applications and deadlines to apply vary from program to program. These are the documents you need to have while applying for Erasmus Mundus. Number 1. Your degree and transcript. Number 2. Two letter of recommendations. Next, motivation letter, IELTS and TOEFL scores, CV in your past format, valid passport, certificate of residence. We have attached a sample certificate of residence. The only thing they're checking through this letter is that you shouldn't have lived for 12 months or more in Europe in the last 5 years. Otherwise, you are considered program country students and not partner country students. Also, you should have any other documents you think is important for your selection, like experience certificates, projects, GRE scores, other certificates, seminars, conferences, or any other awards or honors. And last thing, of course, you need to fill the application form. The next step is after application submission. In case you're shortlisted after the initial screening of the applications, you'll be informed about your online interview through email. Skype interviews are the last step if you're shortlisted for it, and if there is an interview for your program, after that you either get selected with or without scholarship and are informed via email to confirm your admission by completing their required formalities. The dates of acceptance or rejections vary from program to program. Now I will tell you some very important key points that can increase your chances of selection. As Erasmus is highly competitive and therefore highly prestigious scholarship, I will identify some key areas that impact a lot on your selection chances. Number 1. CGPA matters in Erasmus scholarship. Low CGPA is not a barrier, however. Number 2. English proficiency matters a lot. Number 3. The relevance of the field in which you are applying and your past academic professional background matters a lot. Number four, you should have knowledge of the field in which you are applying. You should have experience in the same field demonstrated through internships or job experiences. Number six, your intent and ability to study and work in high diverse and cross-cultural contexts. Number seven, your motivation letter matters a lot more than you may dictate time for it. It can make or break the deal irrespective of your CGPA. You can Google as well as how to write an effective SOP or motivation letter. Number 8. The letter of recommendations. Number 9. Your co-curricular and extracurricular activities. And at the end, your passion and intent to study in a field you applied for, which should be demonstrated through motivation letter and an interview plus by taking relevant courses and internships. Now we'll move towards some of the frequently asked questions about this scholarship program. So first question is, how can I improve my profile and increase my chances of selection? Apart from your educational performance, your complete profile matters. So always make sure to take certificates for co- and extracurricular activities, online relevant courses on Coursera, relevant internships, experiences and projects. Next question is, what if I get rejected for Erasmus? The biggest reason for rejection is not applying. Apply anyway. Take IELTS. Your hard work may meet Erasmus this time. Next, can I apply for Erasmus even if I didn't graduate from a top university? Your undergraduate university name does not matter for Erasmus. Students get in from all universities. Next, how do you know which program you're eligible for? Program names are not typical in Erasmus. You can check all the websites of programs thoroughly and you may find out that you're eligible in some relevant programs. Next, would Erasmus help you in your future PhD goals? Erasmus Masters is the most preferred degree for PhD in Europe. Most people can enroll in PhD abroad right after their Erasmus 
Next, which IELTS test should I take? IELTS general is not acceptable for Erasmus application. Only IELTS academic or TOEFL. Next, how much experience is required to apply for Erasmus application? So you do not need a full-time experience to apply. Many students got in while being enrolled in undergraduate degrees. What mistakes should you avoid in your application? So there are five common mistakes students do in their Erasmus online application form. So first, never lie on your application. Next, don't forget to attach evidence of your internships and almost all major achievements. Next, don't apply to more than three programs. You will sure fail in all. Next, do not copy exact lines from any letter on Google or copy paste the letter of motivation. Lack of knowledge about the program, website content, and purpose of the program portrayed in your LOM. Next question is, can you skip your picture in your CV? So, I recommend attaching a professional picture in your past CV while sending an application. So, there are tons of frequently asked questions on our website, which you can go through and see if you have any confusions related to this scholarship program. If you scroll down on our website, you will see a letter of motivation and letter of recommendation samples. I repeat, do not copy exact lines from here or anywhere from Google because it will come under plagiarism. So make sure you write your own letter of motivation and letter of recommendation. Erasmus is one of the prestigious scholarship program, so I will motivate you to apply for it if you are eligible and give your best. I hope you find this video helpful. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to follow us on our social media handles. Thanks for watching. For more amazing and useful content, you can also join us on our Telegram channel. You can access the link which is present in the community tab. Meanwhile, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, then do subscribe and hit the bell icon to never miss any update.